first into the tank is a customized version of a bedtime essential. Hi Sharks, I'm Susanna. I'm Kevin, and we're seeking $400,000 for a 5% equity stake in our company, Pluto Pillow. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Another pillow company? Well, yes, but thankfully, here at Pluto, we do things differently. See, finding the perfect pillow can be so amazing, but finding the right pillow for you can also be super hard. Here's how it usually goes. While shopping online, you're faced with an overwhelming number of options that can be hard to compare with one another. And with tens of thousands of search results, how do you know which would work best for you? In stores, is it better to squeeze pillows with your hands, or should you awkwardly place your head on the dirty display pillows? The answer is, both suck. Well, with Pluto, there's a better way. Pluto is a custom pillow company that custom builds pillows to you, based on your body stats, how you sleep, and what you like. Here's how it works. Simply visit our website, fill out a quick questionnaire, tell us about your current pillow, what you like, what you didn't like about it, then answer a few questions about your personal preferences, then all of your data runs through our algorithm, helping us create the perfect pillow for you. Our modular design allows us to create over 35 possible variations through our innovative process. The best part, while there are a ton of pillows out there, nobody else does this. Even better, our customers love us. So Sharks, before you hit snooze, which one of you will join us in helping everyone get a good night's sleep? <laughs> All right, Sharks, um, right in front of you in those really cool boxes are your very own custom Pluto pillows. Now, we had to do some research to figure out what we should craft for you. We think these make great starting out points. So Mark, word around the league is that you prefer fill pillows over foam pillows, and you like your pillows to be really soft. So we made sure to craft that squishy, for you. Squishy, squishy, squishy. I nice. like my pillow squishy. Daniel, we heard <laughs> how important it is for your sleep products to be hypoallergenic. The good news is all of our pillows are. We crafted a pillow for you that's both light and soft. Mr. Wonderful, we heard that you prefer fill pillows over foam pillows, so we made one for you that's just that, but one that never flattens. Lori, you tend to heat up at night, and you like more of a medium firmness level. And lastly, Robert, lucky you, you're exactly the same as Mr. Wonderful. Both of you love thick, plushy, filled pillows. Yours is a quilted cover, while Kevin's is a smooth. So sharks, enjoy your out of this world Pluto pillow. Susanna, I have a question. I always assumed that there was actually a better pillow for everyone. Are you saying that that's not the case, that really, truly, there is no scientific best for everybody? There isn't. So we take your body stats, sleep positions, and preferences, so we know that, like, let's say if you're a side sleeper, you need that, like, neck support for the neck-to-shoulder tip ratio, whereas, like, a stomach sleeper, it's better if you sleep on a flat pillow. But besides that, we also have empirical evidence. We have over 1.5 million data points that we take into account of, like, what makes a great pillow for you. What do you mean by those 1.5 million data points? So we have an algorithm on our site that every time anyone goes on our website, orders a pillow, we store this information, and then we look at other people who answer similarly to that person. And then we see like exactly what kind of pillow would be best for them with this data point. And this has actually led to a very low return rate compared to the industry average. The industry average is 12.95%, while ours is sub 8%. And we did this in two years. Break down the numbers for me. 2018, 197K when we first started. 2019, 473K. And this year so far is 490K. There you go. Wow. What's the average sales price? We sell our standard sizes for 95. How are you manufacturing? So how this works is if you guys open up your pillows, inside there's actually a foam core and it's surrounded by a plush outer cover. So there's these two main parts. And through our questionnaire, when it goes to our algorithm, the computer actually decides like, hey, this person needs this foam with that plush cover. So, so someone's in the facility picking, yes, putting they just together, pick it, put and it together packing. and box it. Just two components and variations of those two components. Yeah, two components make over 35 variations that feel really different. One pillow, you sell it at $95. Yes. And then what does it cost you, including fulfillment, and what is your, what do you have left? So $95, $18 shipping, and it costs us $25 to $30 to make the pillow. So $43. So, so you only have half, about 50% margin. Yes, so with that, it's 50 to 60, just cost of goods sold. So that's not a big ratio. Yeah, it sounds like your Normally gross margin structure is not so good. Is there a reason why? Because no matter how much you grow, if your gross margin out the gate is bad, you're just compounding the problems. Why are your gross margins not yeah, healthy? And that's enough? why, with like, if we could have 
a bigger size warehouse to order more materials, we can get that down to $20 to $25 instead of $25 to $30. You're talking about a few dollars, like $18 of your cost is shipping. Right. Tell me a little bit about the back-end operations. How big is the team? So before this year, it was actually just us two. We boxed every pillow. We answered we all the customer You guys emails. did all the boxing in the warehouse? All yeah. the boxing all in the it. warehouse. And then okay, we and now? to press. And now we have, we hire two pillow builders. Um, we have- Pillow builders. Yeah, and we have someone who is full-time on customer service. I want to share with you a few things, my thoughts. While you're picking something smart because pillows are great and everybody needs pillows, it's also an extremely competitive space. And I just think the combination of that along with your valuation, just not the right investment for me. I'm sorry, I'm out. Thank you very much, Thank Lori. Thank you, Lori. Yes. Guys, you guys are, are super impressive. I think Lori makes a really good point about how competitive that industry is. Yes, but nobody does what we're doing in terms of taking body stats, sleep positions, and preferences into account. And we have a utility patent pending. We have over 1.5 million data points. You have a utility patent pending on yes, what? On the way we make the pillows combined with the algorithm. And we have over really? 1.5 million data points that no other company has in terms of like evidence on like what makes a good pillow. We did all the hard work already, right? We already established a brand, you we already created it. a product. Guys, guys, you have it. So here, I'm guessing you're using machine learning because it's linear, yeah. right? 1.5 million data points is nothing. But you actually have kind of dropped the ball and I can tell by your answers. Because the better approach is to say, based off my data points, including my orders, I can build in anticipation of what will be ordered and will they'll be ordered from, because you already know based off your machine learning algorithms, how many orders are going to take place from this part of the country, that part of the country, this part of the country, that part of the country, right? I'm saying all this because I don't think you've gone through that whole process yet, right? And I don't think you're fully aware of all the things you're going to have to go through yet to get there. So for those reasons, I'm out. I love pillows, I'm obsessive about pillows, but you know, this word of algorithm, everybody talks about how they have an algorithm and, and I'm not 100% sure that nobody else can do that. I don't think this is where I'm gonna sleep comfortably, so I'm out. Thank you very Thank much, you, Daniel. Daniel. If this had been for a lower amount of capital risk, I would have probably done it just for the talent, but you guys are, are too small for eight million bucks. I'm out. Thank you, Kevin. I have to tell you, when you came out here and you started talking about pillows, I was bored out of my mind. I couldn't have been less interested, but you sold me. And I think there's a couple of big problems to Mark's point. Your algorithm, it's not predictive. You've got to know what the potential orders are going to be before you get them. And I think you'll start getting that once you get the volume. Yeah. But come on. Who up here knew everything about their business and didn't make those mistakes? So at the end of the day, it's not about the mistakes you're making, it's about my confidence in your ability to overcome them. And you've sold me on that. So I like it all. Hate the valuation. Hate the valuation. Don't let that get in your way, Robert. So I was being quiet with my own algorithm and saying, what number would make me feel comfortable <laughs> sleeping at night. So you're looking for 400,000 for 5%. I'm thinking 400,000 for 20%. Ichi wawa karamba. It's aggressive, but your ask was very aggressive. It's amount I feel comfortable with. But I think it's one of those things, you won't need more money. You're gonna need more expertise and more ways to get out there faster. It's an offer, you got a Shark Tank offer. Go. Ten. I think that's just a little bit high. Would you be able to go down to 9% or 400,000? No, I'm not gonna come down that much. I mean, would I go down to 19, 19 and a half, some marginal amount? Sure, maybe, if you could convince me. But I think it's a lot of money. It really is, and it's a lot of my time. And I do think you're one of these investments we're gonna look back on and say, wow, yeah. Pluto went to the moon. I think 19 is just a little bit too much. We've seen triple digit growth year over year since we started, and we feel like 
there's not really much in our way to keep growing. We do want some expertise. Stick to your guns, guys. Connections. Stick to your guns. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with sticking to your guns. I yeah, disagree, so. guys. He could help you a lot. Stick Everything to your guns, for me guys. is a matter of investment and risk. And I think at 20%, I'm deeply invested. What do you want to do? Let's shoot for the stars. Thank you so much for the offer, Robert. But I think 19, 20% is just a little bit too much. I think we can't really go more than 10% for $400,000. I, I can't get there. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Robert. You. Guys, good Thank luck. You so Congrats, much. guys, and good luck. Thank you. Well Thank done. Thank you very guys. much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. While we're so flattered by Robert's offer, we felt we were worth way more than what he was offering, and we feel that we could still grow this company ourselves.